this is Ashley welcome back to my channel so today I am presenting to you this look using the Urban Decay wired palette so this is definitely like the little sister you know or second edition whatever you want to call it of the Urban Decay electric palette right here the Urban Decay electric palette came out several years ago and now is gone no can't find it it's a collector's edition. And so everybody has been basically raving for Urban Decay to come out with a second version of it, and they have. So I'm going to jump into the product details. This is by Urban Decay once again, and it has wired right here on the top of the packaging, and it is actually raised, and I think it is super dope how they created this packaging. And it just kind of brings back that old electric vibe, but within a new, fresh, and bold way. So once you open up the palette, you have a full-size mirror, and the packaging is very sturdy. It is hard plastic. You have a full-size mirror, kind of what we know in Born to Run, and it is high quality. Inside, you have two four six eight you have 10 shades and i like how they separated it out because a lot of times with these palettes that are pressed pigments we're trying to figure out we're trying to just look at the little asterisks like oh which one can we put on our eyes if you're a person who is having uh, eye sensitivity to some of those pigments but they have made it simple for you so you have face body and eye and that was these six shades right here and then these four shades in the corner are for face and body so if you would like to put any of these shades on your eye you just have to do so at your own risk but they have warned you beforehand that you might have some staining or some eye irritation and that is technically not safe for your eye air palette retails for $39 and can be picked up in your local Sephora and this is what the actual Uden carton of the package looks like right here so on the back it just basically shows the same layout of the palette and then has like kind of like the wired and this is embossed right here is really cute it you could just run your finger around. it just feels good I, I don't know <laughs> so like I said before you have the 10 shades and each pan is 0 0.04 ounces and the palette net weight is 1.2 grams this product is cruelty free and once you open it the package is good for 24 months and then you know all the ingredients are listed down below and also on the side and they give the ingredients for the pressed pigments versus the ones that are used for the face and body only let's go ahead and jump into some swatches and then i'm going to demo this look for you and we'll wrap up with some final thoughts at the end I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have my Sephora Pro number 10 brush. Eyebrows are filled in using my Benefits uh, Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 3.75. My eyelids are actually double primed. I went in first with my Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. Then took a little bit of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. This one has a pretty kind of peachy white uh, shade and I don't like really stark primers on against my skin complexion because it just doesn't look good to me <laughs> so I kind of mixed it in so we can have a little bit more pop with our shadows and I'm going to jump in first with a small little transition shade I'm going to keep it in the Urban Decay family going in with Naked Heat and I'm just going to take a shade that's pretty much like my skin complexion I'm going to take the shade Low Blow right here and I'm just gonna sweep this across the transition area using this Sephora Pro number 10 brush. So just so we'll have a little something to help our shadows blend out because this palette is very vibrant and bright. That way also we don't just have concealer sitting here at the top. Going in with the wired palette, I'm going to first pick up the shade called Jolt and that is this fun line green color. And I'm just going to run this in the transition area. I'm using my same Sephora Pro number 10 brush in the crease. And since this is a fluffy brush, you know, the product is going to be dispersed and it's not going to look as bright. So of course this will definitely pop more if you have the a white primer down. 
I think for me, if I'm remembering correctly, it pretty much kind of feels like how it did before. You know, so you can get some more approachable looks out of this if you're not so keen on just having straight up neon shadows. But I'm just running this back and forth and I'm just gonna build it up as much as possible. First, I'm just gonna pack on and then I'll blend out. And I'm on the tail end, I'm just gonna pack on a little bit more. There we go. So you see, you can get nice color payoff, but it also depends on the brush that you're using. And I'm definitely using a super fluffy brush. But back in the day, I did used to use my electric palette quite often. And that's what I did appreciate about the shades. It's like, they would pop, but you know, you didn't have to worry about, oh my gosh, like I have a super crazy crease or it's just too much if you just were not into too much color. Going in with a MAC 224 synthetic brush. This is old school from a, like a holiday kit. This is old school from a holiday kit. I'm going to take the shade fluorescent and I'm going to pack this more so in the inner corner. And now this brush, I'm going to like just pack so you should see, yeah, you get more color kind of right off the bat. And I'm just kind of meeting those two shades together. All right, so this is what we're looking like so far. I wiped the brush off going in with the shade Chaos, which is the blue right here. I'm going to just pick it up and just gonna tap off a little bit of the excess and I'm just going to pack that on the outer. And then I will fuse it in with a blending brush to meet that green. With this small taper makeup geek brush, I'm gonna go in and blend out the edges of the shade called Chaos and make sure it meets with the green. I'm just gonna lightly blend it in there. Now, I will say that it looks like it blends away a little easy, so. Hmm. But if I remember, the original formula did that too. <laughs> so. But you have to remember that these are more pigment type of eyeshadows, so they're not gonna perform exactly like eyeshadows. Not to mention, these are very vibrant colors, so. Now, with my Tarte Low Brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Current. Actually, I put on the perfect top for this, like has like all these colors in it <laughs> to kind of match the palette. And I'm going to pick this in the center of the lid. So for some reason I noticed like that this color is kind of just fading away as I lay down the shade current. So I'm not exactly sure what that is about. And I'm just gonna continue to pack that shadow right there. I'm not sure.
or it could be my eyelid and the shadow just doesn't want to stick. I don't know. So because that first shade kind of just went away on us, I'm going to go back in with that MAC brush and I'm gonna dip back in with fluorescent. And I'm just going to replace it there. I'm trying to figure out if my eyelid is a little wet or what happened here, because it just seems like it was so vibrant and the color just went away. Okay, so now that I got that color laid down, I'm gonna go back in. We're gonna re up the blue, going back in with the shade Chaos. Take it and I don't know, I'm gonna put it here so we get a little bit more definition. I'm just going to kind of pack it in because it seems like the shades are kind of dissipating before my very eyes. I'm not sure what to say about that. And we're just picking up a little bit more with the blending brush and just there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, add my lashes, do my thing face makeup come back we'll talk about the palette all right i'm back and this is the final look i think it came out really pretty and overall i'm pleased with the final look i went ahead and added on my magnetic lashes i'm using my kiss magnetic lashes with this ardell magnetic gel liner and then i went ahead and added on a little lip gloss and my other face products i'll link down below but the lip gloss i'm wearing is one love and this is by the lip bar with chestnut lip liner so let's go ahead and talk about the palette Palette, uh, some of the good, some of the bad in between. And so overall, I really am digging the package of the palette. It is really cute. It's sleek. I'm loving the raised wired uh, feel of this palette. It is just so cute. I think it's so popping and it's just really unique and sleek at the same time with that little, mm, that extra ump. I like how compact it is. The packaging feels really sturdy. And then on the inside, I really like how they separated the shadows and let you know what is for face, body, and eye, and then what is just for your face and body. Remember, you can use whatever you want, wherever you want, but that's on you. They have told you. <laughs> so, and I love how they give you a nice big full mirror. It is a quality mirror and expands the whole packaging just like how they kind of did the born to run palette so i really dig that the packaging is really dope and i also like how they changed up some of the colors you have the original the feel of the electric palette but then you have some newer colors like currents is new chaos is a little different from the last color jolt is different from the last shade i'm gonna just pull out that electric palette so this is the electric palette and you definitely have some different shades like you don't have the silver shade the blue shade is a little it's really about the same actually when i look at it here but you have one bright blue shade versus two kind of blue shades your uh green shade is actually more green a little bit more aquamarine in this particular palette where this one is a little bit more dark turquoise so i kind of guess it just depends on what feel you like i do like how they really just brought a fresh appeal to this palette now uh, it's been a moment since I've used the UD Electric, but I know the shades in there as far as like the mattes or the fluorescent pressed pigments, they're a little bit more powdery. I do remember they did have good stain powder power. So the in-between for me is maybe, I, I don't know, I haven't used the whole palette. I just used like a few shades. So this is definitely a first impression versus a review. The shade fluorescent right here, it just seems to dissipate, especially on this eye. It just seems like the primer, I don't know if my primer is too thick or what, but it just it's just like soaking into the primer. And I think this is a little weird. I was just sitting there doing my eyeshadow for you guys. And then I, you know, I pack one color and I come back here and I'm just like, well, where's the shadow? It just went away. I'm not doing anything. And I hasn't even been five minutes and already the shadow has pretty much dissipated off of my eyes. Overall, I feel like my look is very beautiful, but I don't feel like this is nothing that I cannot create with any of the shadows that I have already. I know I probably paid this a little safe with this palette at this point, but I'm kind of interested in seeing how these particular shadows for the face and body do work. But like I said, you have, have to be careful if you're applying them to your eyes because these particular shadows are not meant for your eyes. Now, uh, Current, that is one of the few shimmer shades in this particular palette. I like how it's more of a green color versus you're not getting so much of an aquamarine and like how you get an electric or you're getting a teal. 
Um, this is kind of green with a aqua shift. I guess it kind of depends on what color she paired around with. But that particular shimmer, it does have a nice color payoff, but it is a little tightly packed. So you do kind of have to wiggle your brush around, use a tight shader brush like this one I was using here in order to lay that color down. Now, Jolt, it does give off a nice color, but I do feel like, you know, you can manipulate it. You can kind of amp it up. You can kind of amp it down. So I'm just kind of on the fence about this palette. I can't tell you like, yes, this is a definite go. I can't tell you like this is so much better than the UD Electric. But I do like how they brought a fresh appeal to something that was a, definitely a classic flavor favorite of everybody this is not even around anymore neons are definitely on trend so they came out with this at the right time um but i just the performance of the palette just has me a little uh, it just has me a little weary for me to just be like yes this is a hit and we shouldn't even run out and get it not to mention this is definitely a palette of personal choice most people are not going to gravitate to colors like this but i think i picked it up because for me it was just nostalgic based off of the ud electric i knew like this was nothing i would ever wear all the time but when i saw it it was just so innovative and i was like man it's cool it's different and my complex collection, excuse me, have nothing like this at all. And I think this is pretty much a groundbreaking palette when it came out. And it's just cool to kind of see your Urban Decay to get back to the basics and just amp it up and make it better. I can't necessarily say this is better because one of the shadows is just like kind of fading away. But I will come back with some more thoughts and let you know what I think about the palette in another video. However, just let me know what you're thinking about the palette down below. Did you ever used to have the original version, the electric you, the electric? Did you let it go? Are you wishing that you still kept it in your collection? Because now, you know, it's unavailable and it's kind of like, ooh, a little collector's item. Just let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chair dance. Hey, chair dance. Mm -hmm. Chair dance. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya. Bye.